are late to the feast, Pro. Okay. Damn. Long ships on the shore. As beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but... There are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling. Playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield. Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We're here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Odo leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says, "'Tis better to live than to die, let the dead till no fields." Quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Aldo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is the Zodo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. Let me through, bro. Go away! No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Take heart, camarade. Count Odo shall lead us to victory. The Northmen have not won yet. <laughs> oh! Probably powered in armor. It's a scythe. A scythe, I like this. Odo should be at his manor. One with red flowers. Odo's 
this red flower manor. Stretch your wings, Sunan. There it is. Alright, that looks... Like the cleanest thing in Paris. I should wear a disguise in this place. Will they notice me if I go up close? <laughs> Just run. The Norsemen built my house and killed my son. Now the plague takes my wife. Why does God torment me? Why? Easy, me lord. You drank too much wine and your tongue runs free in its grief. Hold, stranger. Who goes there? Pardon me, my lady, but I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady. I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. Oh. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. All the guests might have one. newest guest has gone mad. He's hiding in a wine cell. Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps, but what sort of help can such a lout provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those writs I need to meet with Odo. Someone! Oh, help! There you go. Oh, Lord Clovis, you have drunk yourself to sleep after making a frightful scene. Please, show me a kindness and help Lord Clovis outside while I clean up this mess. Nothing to fear. I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. Returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I need to find Count Odo. Are you serious? Not getting in this way. Yes, I am. You see, dear Lothar, Odo has trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come to be? Because, dear Lothar, I gift him with rare vintages, whole casks from as far away as Greece. Ha! Servant, bring more wine!
Hmm. So he will be pretty easy to sway if we can talk to him. And with Count Odo leading us, we shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and blunder. True. The Northmen are fierce and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosler, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say. Eivor, I think then. <laughs> you saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. By one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Frankia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deni? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We are not part of your kingdom. <laughs> And I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen and Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. No. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I actually liked him. He seemed all right. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. Time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. A fierce wind can snap a tree, even one as strong as Odo. Is Charles the wind, or will he break like a reed? Now, 
Two things we must do to carry this siege. Hmm. First, we shall take some ground for catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toka. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover, just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason. But Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the fat king. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toga is right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word, once given, is never broken. I will fight at your side, Sigrid. Never doubt. Enough! Friends, uncle! We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thing. Someday she may stand in front of an army, like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> What do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. I need to lay the groundwork for the siege. What to do first? Okay. I want to do the negotiation first. What's this? My You're right there, bud. It's a dead body. Creep. Jeez, there he's here. Come one, come all. Enter our humble hall. Drink, dance, and sing. To the madness of the king. You have some rhymes. The end of the world. The fat king. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? 
No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy, but not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool, the king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I, I should thank you. Uh, for what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. Watch and learn. No, oh, don't tell me I'm doing this. I think I'm gonna do one of those, um, poem things. Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. The jesters were all drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. The bear might be the king, so the king has a room. Okay. Someone's sleeping in there. You there, acting strange. Where is your king? As mute as the dead, no matter. Can I shoot through there? I think I can just get it. Oh, wow. Well. Found what I need. Charles enjoys the theater in Amiens. Good. Let us go. No, he may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said. Holy. I'm gonna travel all the way over there. Oh, there. There's a blue light over here. Looks like the backstage. Maybe Charles lurks within. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little one. What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No. 
What the hell? No, no, no. <sighs> it is only the heathen. Led astray by Lucifer. But mortal, all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me. And this weak creature of flesh. Forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. <laughs> Let me assure you. My demon exists. As does my god. Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand for that trick you played on me and the queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Yes. Only you can save your people from Siegfried's wrath. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? Haha, <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While pious Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. Well... But your son, Bernard... My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed. And I will consider the merits of your offer. Else begun. You want him brought to a dingy theater, where you talk to yourself in the dark? <sighs> no. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. There still will be a slaughter. But his face, look at that face. You can't trust him. There she is. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish skulls. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No. But I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. We should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. What else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toka. Hmm. <laughs> now I guess we gotta go to. I need to scout some ground for his catapults. <laughs> A trail of blood. A secret passed this way. No new fidgets. 
killing monks too. Holy Jeez. You're out, bud. Workshop, the perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks, what are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king by Frankish law. That man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear. For we bereft not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest at Count Odu before. Goslin and Ebels. Warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must... Brother, you talk too much! <laughs> Come on. Let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. <laughs> but I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Sigfrid. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftops. Sigfrid Skullbreaker is here! Come, men! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They oh, keep watch, Paris. but not well. In the sight line. A perfect place for our catapults to hurl stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Sigfrid! I am no goat-footed climber like you, but I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Holy, we're an army. Attack! Vengeance! Let's go then. A new catapult are you careful about? Crack of wood and stone is the sound of victory. Oh, you just said, you just said attack. Ah, oh, you 
dog. Bottom off the edge. Yep. Down. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. That is dead. Discharge. Great victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson. The god of vengeance, who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands. That stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nordnir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. You will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. what we're doing. Stones. 
smuggled goods meant for the Ile de la Cité. The smuggler must know the island well. Seems the Queen knows the smuggler. Maybe Rishadis can help me find Norwin. your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. A heathen monster bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend. Good people, do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust a pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? Friends, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. Keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. Plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Eva. <coughs> I am not yet ready to return to Charles, <coughs> if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward. Name of Norman. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman, although not without <coughs> talents. To those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? <coughs> Better we take the city before it starves. We will not harm the commoners if I can help it. But Siegfried the Frank killer leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many Nord men must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his niece die too? Should you? I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason and truce on all sides. I do what I can. You did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you, my good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I'm in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! From the mouths of babes. Very well. But hurry back, little bear. <laughs> not so fast, little prince. This place is not safe. Nowhere in France here is safe now. Mother Richardi says so. How is it you know where this smuggler works? Yesterday I went on an adventure and followed her. But she saw me and waved. I felt silly. Looks like the place. Thank you, Bernard. Best you return to the Queen. Bye, Eivor! Have fun, and let's have another adventure soon! What? Oh, 
My friend, just who are you? Bonjour, my brave friend. But I do not have any silver. Hmm. I am not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. Praise the saints. And I thank you for your fine and timely blade. But I must go. No, you see, I'm a friend of Brichardis, Queen of Francia. And I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through the city's walls. I need your help. I am no ghost. Just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All of Paris knows it. Even the boy prince does. I need your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? Yep. My friend Toka wants her necklace back. This I know. There is her chain, friend. Tell her to find me in Mont when this is all over. Toka, she'll hear your words. All is well. So what do you need, Northerner? I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door, something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Franks sealed the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take that bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. Thanks, man. Where is this bridge? It must be near. I should not be seen in this area. I can hear people. Smuggler was right. Some jars of grease will bring this bridge crashing down. I will set up the jars so we can destroy the bridge later during the attack. Okay, um. <laughs> hey, you can talk to him. Put a guard at the bridge. Not men's army by myself. What do I want with their suicide mission? Hey, you don't belong down here. Go. No, to be honest, neither do I. And let us pretend we're both elsewhere. Yeah. Why not? We are all doomed. Tell me to scout the Northmen's army by myself. 
Trap is set for the siege of the island. Better return to the others. 